here is my C-Swing stove with a uh, butterfly uh, stove under kerosene stove underneath it. And what I have made here is a oven so that I can put, cook muffins and bread. Uh, two nights ago, I cooked uh, Betty Crocker muffin mix. Uh, yes, actually, two nights ago, I got the banana, and it came out perfect. Then last night, I tried this chocolate chip, and I changed some things, and it came out terrible. <laughs> I shouldn't say terrible. It came out burnt on the bottom. The uh, top and the inside was good, so I, I lost about a third of it uh, to being burnt. What I didn't do the second time, the first time I... Uh, coated my pan with uh, olive oil the second time I did not. Uh, so that seems to be an important factor. Uh, tonight, I made bread. Uh, went out and bought one of these bread mixes and uh, just followed the directions and uh, there's the uh, finished result. Uh, I used about a third of this bread. The other two thirds we cooked in the oven and actually it got finished before I did. So actually, we had, we had that bread with dinner, not my bread, but my bread came out just as fine. So let's see what the kit is. And I'm gonna take it all apart and build it up from scratch. Okay, so we've got the standard C-swing stove with uh, the gimbals, and I have a uh, butterfly stove from uh, St. Paul Mercantile, I think is where I bought it. Um, and it seems to be doing just fine. There is a uh, windshield that I put in here, just a piece of flashing, flashing from the hardware store, just so that it uh, kind of directs the heat up a little bit. The key to this system is not to let the heat, uh, here's the, the pan that I'm using. This is my little camp pan. I'll put it in the notes exactly what it is. Um, so we put about, now we filled this about halfway uh, with uh, bread dough. Uh, but if you put it straight on top of the flame, it's going to have a hot spot and it's going to burn. So what I did is I went out and got a standard little $2 uh, steamer. And I actually had a, an old one that I was using as just a spacer. So I put a second one in there for a spacer. The key is not to have a hot spot on the bottom of your... Uh, Pot and to try to get as much heat around as possible. So then you uh, put the bread mix in there. I went out and I bought a uh, a little uh, oven. Now this is saying it's very cold. When uh, when I had this in here the first time, when I preheated it on maximum, it was up to 550 degrees. So you can get these things pretty hot. So I, I put this in the middle, or in the, in the front here, like that. And then I went out to uh, the store, and I got this metal bucket, and I just put a little bit of holes in it. I think I paid $3 for the bucket, so $2 for the uh, steamer. Uh, probably another $2 if you want to buy a second one. I already had one, so I didn't have to pay another $2. Uh, three fifty, I think, is what I paid for this roughly, and it fits perfectly right over here. And so the, the sides of the bottom and the sides of the C-swing stove keeps the heat in, the bucket keeps the heat in, I've got only four holes in it, and at full blast, um, letting it just sit there and, and preheat for 10 minutes before I put the, the, uh, the mix in, um, it got up to 550 degrees. So when I put in the, uh, the bread mix, uh, in the in the pan, and the, the big key is make sure you you uh, coat the pan with uh, butter or something, uh, which we did tonight. Uh, last night we did not, so the chocolate chip cookies didn't come out so great. I mean, they came out good, just the bottom third was burned up, was burned and sticking to the bottom. So if you look at this, you can see it's still got some, you know, it's still pretty pretty clean. I have not cleaned this at all. And our result is this loaf. And it uh, came out pretty good. It is a little burnt on one spot. I uh, turn it over. You can see the cooking directions were somewhere around 20 minutes. And it took me 35 minutes to cook this. 
So a little burn spot, not a big deal. Came out good. Um, I actually don't like the bread, this particular package. I didn't really like it that much. I'm gonna try some other bread some other time. But that would be a nice size loaf if you're solo sailing uh, in your middle of the Atlantic, which I would love to be, but probably never will. But you're out offshore sailing around and you heat up some spaghetti and you wanna have some bread. And in uh, just a little over half an hour, you can have yourself some bread. The, uh, the directions did say to, uh, you know, I, I had to uh, mix in the yeast, put in some warm water, and I had to uh, knead it uh, and let it sit for 15 minutes. So between the whole prep time and cook time and everything, you're talking about an hour uh, to make bread. But if you're out sailing around, uh, no, nobody around, an hour is not such a big deal. Um, and so I'm very pleased. The system worked really well. And I really like the fact that my little cook, cooker here, my little, my little pot that I use, um, it does come with a lid. I didn't put a lid on it this time. Uh, yesterday I put a lid on it when I made chocolate chip muffins. And the other day when I made uh, the banana muffins, I had the lid on. But I don't think you really need the lid on. But it's nice and clean. So I don't have to spend a lot of time cleaning it up because again, there's no direct heat on the bottom of the pot. There's plenty of air circulation and that's the key. You want to keep the heat in circulating around and have no hot spots. So just wanted to give you guys a little update and it seems to work real well and it was cheap to make.